So as you can see here, my workspace has been taking a little bit of a beating over the past couple of weeks as I wanted to start new projects for summer. Uh, I wanted to start new sewing projects as well as knitting ones. So I would just come in here, grab what I need, and I haven't taken a moment to really kind of pick up after myself. So I think that's what I want to do today. I want to make sure that everything is in order. Um, so it's been a couple of weeks, actually a couple of months, since I did my initial yarn stash organization when I got this cabinet right here. And over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed things that work for me, things that don't work for me. So today I'm hoping that I can address the things that don't work so then I can have something that stays organized for a long period of time. Then again, I'm a pretty messy person, so that's probably unrealistic, but we'll give it a try. Also, I just got some really neat tools in the mail. So I got a ball winder and swift swindle. I'm actually, I always thought it was called a swift, but some people are referring to it as a swindle. Yeah, this is cool. My partner was completely taken aback by this purchase. I didn't actually tell him what this is. And even if I did try and explain it to him, like nobody can be prepared for this. <laughs> Uh, it's just a weird tool. I'm personally just a little intimidated to give this a try, but I think this is going to be one of the things that I use to help me get organized. <sighs> so I'm going to take a couple of hours to get all of this done. Mm, I hope it's not going to be too difficult and in the process I get to try out a new toy so that will keep me going, keep me motivated throughout it, um, which is really great. So yeah, just come along with me and uh, let's get organized together. Coming back with the Swift and the Ball Winder. Uh -huh. So I've never used a Ball Winder and Swift before, um, but when I was looking online, I saw a lot of like plastic ones and I just, being me, <laughs> I don't know, I was just thinking that the wooden ones would be a little bit more uh, durable and last a little bit longer. Um, maybe that wasn't the best idea because I've never used one before. I don't know if making an investment like that was uh, the smartest thing because who knows how much use I'm going to get out of it. Although when I shared that I got this, uh, these two tools, everybody was telling me that my life is about to change for the good forever. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. Um, that being said though, this is very intimidating to me. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I placed this large band around the driver wheel, which is this thing, done. And then around the pulley, oh boy. So I thought it was probably the smarter way to do it. And then bring it here, sweet. new toy guys. Uh, okay. Thread the yarn through the guide and tuck the yarn slot E on top of the winding spool F. Yes. Okay, let's get some yarn then. Woo, that's exciting. Right, so this is a hank of yarn that I've had for a very long time, so uh, I think it's about time that I use it perfect summer yarn, nice and lightweight, very thin. It's really cool, like uh, you can see there's some variegation in the yarn. And I need to undo this really quick. And take... I'm 
so I have to be slow because this thing, the way that my desk is shaped, it has like a weird bar, so the the thing that holds it down can't like keep it steady, but I think it's doing okay actually. If I go really fast, it's gonna like go out of hand. Especially since I need two hands. Okay, it's actually doing all right. Okay, so I've made pretty good progress on my unfinished objects. Uh, I shared with you guys a couple of videos back about some projects that I've had sitting around for a while and that I'm making a priority to now finish. So not as many things in this bag than before, but um, I do want to go through and some of these I have decided that I am not going to continue to work on, so I would like to unravel them. First of all, it's this one. I was doing like some kind of raglan sweater with this petite wool. Mm, I'm just not really that into it. I like the color and everything, but uh, maybe for something else. So I'm gonna use my new toy and uh, unravel it. Also, another one is this Wool in the Gang Laura sweater that I was stitching the, the oranges on. Um, yeah, I just decided I'm not really feeling it. I don't like the idea of having, I don't know, I just don't like the drape of the sweater and the style, so I'm going to undo it as well and work on another project with it. And then uh, I will definitely be finishing the other sock for this one. I'm almost there. I had to use the needles for my well-loved sock, so I had to take those off and yeah, unfortunately I didn't put them on anything else so it started unraveling so I need to also put that there or I also need to put these back on the needles so I have them and they don't continue to unravel anymore. I'm already getting the hang of this thing I love it. <laughs> you guys were right it is gonna change my life like I'm finding all kinds of excuses to unravel things now so uh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> So I want to make sure that I make enough space for all of the knitting and crochet books that I have. So I only have a few here, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I have the Modern Crochet book by DeBross. I have 52 Weeks of Socks and Lane magazine. Um, 
which has been really great for just like inspiration. And I just think, I really love the look of this. It's like a perfect coffee table book, which is really great. And I'll give you a sneak peek into what the 52 weeks of socks looks like. Careful not to show you anything. But there's just so many beautiful, like aesthetic pictures in here. So if you're interested in socks at all, I haven't knit anything from this book yet, but I definitely intend to for like Christmas presents and things. I think it's gonna be the perfect book to go back to. And then I also have Vogue Knitting. I finally picked up a copy of this book. It took me over a year to find it in stock. So if you're even curious about it, I would actually recommend grabbing it. I will show you the table of contents. So there's like all kinds of stuff here. This is like the knitting Bible. Um, you know, like basic techniques, cables, color knitting, lace, circular knitting, advanced techniques, all kinds of stuff. So you can see it all here. Really, it's been helping me out a lot learning um, new cast off methods and cast on methods. So really, really interesting stuff. If you like flip through. Again, I don't really want to give away too much stuff, but really it's uh, like so valuable, full of information. So I would really recommend that too. So now I can keep them all in one place, which is really great. Now I finished organizing my corner of the office. It's pretty much all nice and clean now, nice and organized. Things are put back where they belong. I now have some things that I've gotten rid of also, which is really nice, kind of just to go through and see, okay, am I really using that? And if not, let's just get rid of it uh, and donate it so that somebody else can use it instead of collecting dust in my very limited space over here. So if I open it up, not that you couldn't have seen it anyway, but uh, I have everything nicely organized in my same little compartments like I had before. So I didn't really change too much about like how I organized like um, by category or anything like that. I kept everything pretty much the same. It works for me in that way. So I have uh, my big uh, tub of mohair here at the bottom. I organized it by color again, made it nice and fresh. Uh, I have my petite wool here. I do have a lot of petite wool. I didn't actually realize that I did. And then some miscellaneous, which honestly is just a little bit more petite wool and then just other random things that I have. Um, so yeah, I uh, was able to fit a lot here. And then anything that was really messy, I made sure to kick it up using my new ball winder, which is really fun. I originally wanted to cake up everything and thought that that would be the best way to do it, but I understand that it's probably not the best for the longevity of the yarn, so decided not to do that. I chose wisely on what I wanted to cake up, for sure. So I have like some of the Super Trooper wool and then some wool left over from my vest. Then I also have some drops air that I'm going to be using very soon, which is why I caked it up. I did it very lightly because I know that it's pretty stretchy as a yarn. I just wanted to see if it would work, to be honest. I noticed that I actually had a lot of like summer category type yarns, so like summery yarns. So I decided that I'm gonna put those all together in one place. So now I have cotton as well as linen, bamboo, and then some eucalyptus fiber as well, which is really nice. And then I have some raffia down here. I kept my new wave yarn in the box because I don't wanna look at it. <laughs> and then I took the Noro yarn out of the box because it's just so pretty and I wanted to also see it as well in my stash because that's half the fun. So I have my Noro yarn here and I even caked one of them up. Gosh, that is just so beautiful. Um, yeah, this one was a lot of fun to cake up because as I was winding, I was discovering all of the colors that are in this yarn, which is really cool. 
I don't think I necessarily needed to cake it because of the way that it's originally wound like that. It's not too, it's not like a ball where it's very difficult to keep track of, but I have a new toy, so why not use it? <laughs> and then I have the Cowgirl Blues yarn that um, you saw me cake up with the Swift, which was a lot of fun. I really like it. I'm gonna need to start buying Hanks just so that I can uh, use that Swift more often. But here is a comparison between a year ago when I uh, wound this up by hand versus the cake that I just did. This one didn't take me very long. This one took me like probably an hour or more. <laughs> so it was very tedious. And that's probably why I actually didn't continue working with this yarn because I wanted to hold it double stranded and I couldn't even imagine like winding that up by hand. So I think that is what has kept it in my stash for so long. So I'm excited to get uh, use out of it again. So I think I'm actually going to cake this up after we finish speaking. So then I'll have two nice little cakes here. This has been a lot of fun, kind of therapeutic, really nice to do. I'm really happy that I got that done today because yeah, it just, it's so nice to work in a clean and organized space. So I hope you guys enjoyed following me along while I tried out something new as well as just got my life together a little bit. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys following along and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you love knitting and DIY content as much as I do and I will see you next time.